Find the value of f prime of x given that f of x equals x minus 1 and divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, so first thought here is product rule. And I don't do the quotient rule, I just do the product rule generally. Um, I'm not even sure if I know the quotient rule. I know there's a square involved. But it's usually easier for me to keep everything straight when I do the uh, product rule instead of the quotient rule. Um, if it came down to it, maybe I could just derive the quotient rule and it'd be easier. I don't know. So I'm going to say u equals x minus 1, u prime equals 1, v equals 2x plus 1 to the negative 1, v prime equals negative 1, 2x plus 1, the negative 2 times the derivative of the interior, which is 2. And this will then equal negative 2 over 2x plus 1 squared. Okay? And... Okay, putting it all together, we have u times v prime. So x minus 1 times 2 negative over 2x plus 1 squared plus u prime which is 1 over 2x plus 1 to the first. And then what we'll do then is multiply the top and the bottom by 2x plus 1 and that way we'll be able to combine the denominators. We'll find a common denominator so we can combine the numerators. That probably makes more sense. And I'll do this as 2 minus 2x, just distribute. So we have 2 minus 2x plus 2x plus 1, combine those up top. And then we have 2x plus 1 on the bottom, squared. This has turned more into an algebra problem than into a um, calculus problem. Though, I guess you can kind of be like, well, calculus, algebra is just an extension, or calculus is just an extension of algebra. So maybe that kind of sort of works. We'll see. Oh, haha. -ha. <laughs> Good for me. Good for us. Go team. So, right there. So I think I even got the signs right. Good for me. Good for me. Go team. Very proud. Very proud. Excessively proud. Okay. So backtrack. What we did was we're, try we're told to find the derivative of this. Nothing looks particularly hard. Uh, it's one thing divided by another. And so instead of going for the quotient rule, which is what you're probably standardly taught, um, I, I usually go for the product rule. So I went, we did the product rule. And we got a uh, squared in the bottom and a not and just to a first power on the second term, I guess. And then we're like, hey, we want to combine these. And so the way we did that was we just multiply the top and the bottom by um, 2x plus 1. And from there we will combine the numerators. And we got an answer that looked reasonable and an answer that was a possible choice as well, which is even better. So that is how you do this problem. Go team.